In French, there is a strong distinction between formal speech and informal speech. This can be found in the choice of pronouns, words, and expressions. In informal speech, you want to use the pronoun tu. Tu will only be used in the singular, that is, when talking to one person only, and to address people you know well, friends, family, kids, people the same age, pets, etc. However, in formal speech, you want to use the pronoun vous. Vous can be used in two cases, when talking to more than one person, that is in the plural, or to one person, but in a formal way, as a sign of respect. For example, you will use vous when talking to your boss, older people, a stranger, doctors, people you don't know, colleagues, parents-in-law, customers, etc. Depending on the context, one must choose accordingly as the wrong use of tu can seem rude. For example, Salut, comment est-ce que tu t'appelles Je m'appelle Marine, et toi Je m'appelle Romain. Comment est-ce que tu t'appelles is one way to ask someone's name in an informal way. You can notice the use of tu and the est-ce que which are rather informal. Let's look at a second example. Bonjour, comment vous appelez-vous Je m'appelle Madame Cormier, et vous Je m'appelle Monsieur Le Breton. Here, comment vous appelez-vous is used to ask the same question, but in a formal way. The use of vous, as well as the inversion of the verb appeler, and the pronoun vous, both indicate formality. Greetings in French can be either formal or informal. Depending on the time of the day and person one is speaking to, the greeting will differ. To greet, one must choose between Salut, bonjour, bonsoir, bonne nuit. In the morning or during the day, one can say Bonjour, which is rather formal, or Salut, and Coucou, which are rather informal. Salut can also be used to say goodbye. In the evening, a bonsoir is in order. And bonjour is an accurate, as it means good day, and the jour, day or daylight, is already gone or fading. Therefore, bonsoir can be subjective and can depend on the season, because days don't end at the same hour in every season. Finally, bonne nuit is used to say good night. If you are talking to your really cute cat, you can also add a fait de beaux rêves which means sweet dreams. Goodbyes too can be informal, formal and neutral. Informal goodbyes include Bisous, à plus, salut, à la prochaine, à plus tard, ou ciao. For example, Je dois partir, à plus. Oui, salut. Neutral goodbyes include Au revoir, à demain, à lundi, Bonne journée, bonne soirée, bon week-end, à bientôt, bon après-midi. For example, nous partons, au revoir tout le monde. À lundi, bon week-end. Formal goodbyes include bonne journée or bonne journée à vous. For example, au revoir monsieur Maurice. Bonne journée à vous. Asking people how they're doing also relies on formality and informality. Informal ways of asking how one is doing include Tu vas bien? Ça va? Quoi de neuf? Comment ça va? Informal answers include From great to awful Ça va super Ça va très bien Ça va bien Ça peut aller Bof Pas très bien Ça va mal For example Salut, comment ça va? Ça va Et toi Ça va très bien. Ça va literally translates to How is it going? A formal way of asking how one is doing can be Comment allez-vous? Formal answers include From great to awful Je vais très bien. Je vais bien. Je ne vais pas bien. Je vais très mal. For example Bonjour madame. Comment allez-vous? Je vais très bien, merci. Et vous? Je vais bien, merci. 
One should also be careful about formal and informal speech when using words of politeness, such as please or you're welcome. If you want to say please in a formal situation, you will have to say s'il vous plaît. Whereas if you are in an informal situation, you should say s'il te plaît. Similarly, when saying you're welcome in a formal situation, you should say je vous en prie. But in an informal situation, you want to say de rien. Good news is, thank you in French is merci. And it can be used in both formal and informal speech. Let's look at an example. Salut Alexandre, tu peux me rendre mon livre s'il te plaît Coucou Charles, oui, voici ton livre. Ah, merci. De rien. Here, the conversation is informal, as Charles and Alexandre use s'il te plaît and de rien. Let's look at one more formal example. Bonjour Madame Danos, j'aimerais avoir le livre de français s'il vous plaît. Bonjour Samuel, le voici. Merci Madame. Je vous en prie. In this example, the conversation between the teacher Madame Danos and her student Samuel is formal as they use s'il vous plaît, please, as well as je vous en prie. You're welcome. Here, you can see the teacher uses vous with her student, but if Samuel had been younger, Madame Danos could have used tu instead of vous. Let's look at more examples using everything we learned today and some explanations. Here is another example of informal speech. Salut, tu vas bien? Ouais, et toi? Ça va. Tu manges avec moi ce midi? Ok, pourquoi pas? The use of Salut an informal greeting as well as the to indicate that the two people talking know each other and are friends, co-workers or family members. The ouais. is the informal oui and can illustrate informal speech as well. Furthermore, the tu vas bien? a question without the inversion of the subject and the verb indicates informality. As we mentioned earlier, a more formal way of saying that would be Comment allez-vous? Here is an example of formal speech. Bonjour, monsieur. Comment allez-vous? Je vais bien aujourd'hui. Et vous? Moi aussi, merci. Bonne journée à vous. Également. In the second example, the use of Bonjour a more formal way to greet someone than Salut shows that the conversation is more formal. The use of Vous is also an indicator of this. You can also notice the inversion of the subject and the verb. Comment allez-vous? Such a conversation would be common small talk in the workplace, as you can notice how it ended quickly and politely with Bonne journée à vous. Have a good day and with Également. Likewise. Based on what you learned about informality and formality in French, Listen to the following conversations and try and guess if the following conversations are formal or informal. Salut Clara. Salut Guillaume, ça va? Bof, je dors pas bien en ce moment. Ah ouais, c'est pas drôle. Bon courage. Et toi? Oh bah moi tout va bien. Mmh, cool. Is this conversation formal or informal? Don't hesitate to replay the audio if you need to listen to it again. This conversation was informal. The greeting used Salut indicates it from the very beginning. The omission of the negation word ne in the negative sentence Je dors pas bien and C'est pas drôle respectively meaning I don't sleep well and it's not funny indicate informality. The correct way of forming a negative sentence should be Je ne dors pas bien and Ce n'est pas drôle. The word bof is also very informal. It means so-so or meh. Moreover, the use of ba indicates informality as it is an informal interjection. Listen to this conversation and decide if it's formal or informal. Bonjour et bienvenue dans l'hôtel Les Flots Bleus. Que puis-je faire pour vous? Bonsoir, je suis Monsieur Tiersen. Ma chambre est-elle disponible? Tout à fait, Monsieur. Votre chambre est prête. Suivez-moi. Merci bien. Can you tell? In this conversation, the use of vous 
indicates that the conversation is formal. Contrary to the previous example, the first speaker uses Monsieur. This indicates that the speakers don't know each other, or that formality is necessary in this context. As this example takes place in a hotel, formality is used, since it's a form of customer service. Note that though the first speaker said Bonjour, the second speaker answered with Bonsoir. This happens because the perception of good day and good evening is not always the same for everybody. Thank you for listening today. Hope you learned a lot. Merci et à bientôt.